So have you ever painted your nails, gotten them all done, and you thought they looked pretty good? I did mine the other day, and I think they look pretty good, but as soon as I got them painted, you know, I still have a little bit to do on them, really, but um, after I got them painted, I found out this happened. Broke a nail, and I had already painted this and then found out it was starting to crack, so I took the nail polish off of it, but I had two that I had break. This one I already repaired, but um, I didn't want to cut this all the way down to there, and so I had I have a fix that I figured out, and I'd like to show you guys how I did that because all the rest of my nails are the same length, and um, you know I wanted to just enjoy them a little bit while they were this length, and. Uh, Anyway, um, just to make them last a tad bit longer until I, uh, you know, get get ready to trim them off a little bit. And, and actually, I'll have to trim it off eventually anyway, so, but I didn't want to really trim it back that far. So, um, stick with me here, and I will show you how to repair your nail with stuff you have around your house. Okay, so here's what we're going to need. We need nail files, one metal one, and then two that are going to be more for your different abrasion levels um, that you can um, do a rough roughs file down, and then and then which would probably be more this one, and then this one where you have more of a soft finishing buffer type thing on it. Um, so that's what you use those for, and then the metal the metal tip on the this uh, nail file is going to be more for fine tuning and, and actual the process of working the 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 applications that we're going to do. Not so much filing, but it is a good file. It's a long lasting file. You'll need super glue and yes, a piece of toilet paper. So obviously, anything you have around the house, this toilet paper is going to work fine. Um, this is two ply, and what you're going to want to do is separate separate so you have just one using the one ply um, and again with the files you can get the files anywhere um, just make sure that they have a good buffing buffing side to to where you can get these uh, finishes just like sandpaper so you work it rough with this and then buff it, uh, finishing it and then a final buff on it and then the super glue um, I got this particular one at Walmart. It comes in a four pack and it's kind of nice because these individual packets, uh, uh, containers, you don't have to use the whole container all at once and they don't, um, go bad as quickly. So this one is still sealed. I've obviously I've gone through this with different things that I've been using them for and I just, um, opened this one up. So Anyway, um, this is the best way. These are about probably I think about a dollar eighty-eight from Walmart, and um, they I think it's the best deal um, because, like I said, they come in individual packs. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is it, you know this piece of toilet paper. This is one square. You won't need any. You won't need anywhere near that much. So um, what you need to do is take the two ply apart like this and you don't even need to pull this all apart because you're not going to use very much of it. What you need to do though, um, what I would do or suggest is use, since, since this crack is on an edge, what I would do is make sure, you know, when this lays over here, use an edge of, of your toilet paper that doesn't have those little perforations where they go together from piece to piece. So just take off a little bit of this and set the rest aside. You, I don't know, you might need it uh, for other things as far as like if you have a spill or something. And what you need to do is kind of kind of um, make it so you have just a little piece and just kind of keep whittle, whittling it down from there. And you need to be able to put it on and test it out to see if it's going to cover 
your whole uh, crack of your nail and past it a little bit. So this is still too big. It won't fit on my nail. So what we need to do is um, keep whittling this down some and just set that stuff off to the side because you might use those pieces later. So take it and see, just keep tucking it here. Oh, okay, I think that's going to work. So we'll, we'll go with this one first goes across over and it goes above and below that crack um, pretty good so um, that's it on that piece so we'll use that first so we'll set that aside and get out our glue so like I said I just opened this up recently and the first thing you're going to want to do is just put a little on there to get that crack, kind of crack, um, uh, closed up a little bit. Sometimes when you get these going a little sooner, you can get that um, before it starts lifting up too much. So just hold it there for a minute, a little bit of time. Sometimes those cracks, uh, the nail doesn't start lifting up too much, which is a, the best time. So anyway, let that kind of take a little, and then just cover that area with super glue. Just not too much, but you want to get it to where it's covered. So just do that. And I would suggest putting this lid on every time you're not using your super glue just to keep it from getting um, on everything. Now, the super glue is going to set up a little while you're doing this, but now what you're going to do is put the paper on the nail where you put the super glue on and you want to get this on there whoops it gets a little tricky so whoops and you know if, if this piece doesn't work for you you can always see it doesn't always work quite right so okay I got this okay now you're seeing how this goes. Okay, I'm going to get a different piece because I got super glue on it and it wasn't in the spot where I wanted it to be. So there, we still have the glue on our finger here and one of those little pieces that I had set aside, we'll use that and just kind of whittle that down a little. Be careful not to get the super glue on there as you can see until you get it right where you want it and it should should take um, to the glue now if you get it over You can kind of get that under there and we kind of got it on there now we need to put a little more super glue on here and just to get that wetted down so you let that get wetted down with the super glue and just takes a little time sometimes to get it all you just kind of have to work it around a little bit too 
and also once you get it kind of on there put some more super glue on there just to get it all covered and then we're going to put another layer of toilet paper on there. So that's just going to sit there for a minute um, with that glue on there and we're going to tear off another piece of paper. So tear off your piece. Um, we'll use this piece here. Okay. I'm just, you gotta just whittle it down to the size you need. Okay, now we have this piece and we're gonna lay it right over. Sometimes it's kind of hard to lay over these because you don't obviously don't want to get into it. Oops. Oh, see here, we're getting it stuck again. Okay. Just kind of get it stuck on there. There. And get it tucked down can pull this off over here. You don't need that much. Okay. So just get it kind of tamped down so it's sticking to the nail. You might need to even add some more super glue at this point. It's not that you're adding a ton of super glue, it's just kind of doing some layering. Um, so, and also this helps tack it down. So you just have to keep applying the nail polish or uh, super glue. You'll eventually polish it, but that's not for a while. So, get enough glue on there that it soaks up into the toilet paper. And the glue is just the glue, you know, it's just gluing it together and then the toilet paper is kind of making that bond or the mesh over over the um, or it's bridging the crack. So sometimes I do three layers. This is just two layers right here. Um, and you can see that it it's covering that uh, crack. So sometimes I even use the edge of the super glue bottle to get it to stay down, to tack it down making sure it's pushed all the way down. But anyway, so you get that kind of on there like that. And it looks a little rough right now, but that's okay because you got, you got that layer over it and uh, you can see where the crack was under there. And uh, it's covered up from down here to up there with toilet paper and glue. So you let that dry. So um, I'll be back. Gotta let this dry and you'll know when it's dry because it won't be tacky any, anymore but what you want to do is to keep from touching it until that super glue dries or else you're going to be sticking your fingers to everything and uh, you can see I kind of got a little messy here doing this but usually you can stay pretty pretty um, pretty uh, um, clean doing this as long as you're just careful. Uh, so this one is dry uh, and I had uh, filed this one down. So um, we're going to let this other one dry and um, we'll be back. But 
it'll take at least probably 30 minutes to dry. So you just need to keep checking it until you uh, can tell. So I'll be back. Okay, so I've let my nail uh, dry um, the glue on it and you can see it looks kind of gnarly weird looking but it's just really rough right now um, and what I actually did is I added a little more over on the side over here um, where it it you know like if this were the other side I added glue on there because I didn't get the uh, toilet paper close enough to the edge for my preference um, and see on this one you can see I had done this one and I didn't have to do that so anyway um, so that one that's how it kind of looks done right now um, so what we're gonna do now this is really rough so what we need to do is start with one of our nail files that have more a rougher edge on it which that for me is this one this rougher edged uh, file. So all you have to do is start whittling this down and um, making it smooth. So this, I know this kind of is hard to watch, but this is kind of what you'll do. And you just do this until you get it down to where you um, think it, you know, it's smooth, um, a rough smooth. So you just keep doing that and uh, whoops, there we go. Um, get it filed down. Um, this will take a while and not too long, but I mean, it's up to your preference. So you just do this. I'm going a little slower so you can actually see how this would look. And there's a little bit of art in this to get it smoothed down quite how you like it. And you just keep filing it down until you get it sculpted kind of in a rough form that you want it. And once you get it with this rough one, then what you do is you go and you take the next nail file that has still a rough side and a buff side, but a little bit uh, rougher than the buff side, but not as, not as rough as... The, the initial nail file that you used. So this this is a kind of a rough edge and then what you do is you go over it again and just keep filing it down until you get it um, you know smoothed down to the next grade. It's kind of like woodworking kind of except it's on your nail you know sculpting. It's kind of like sculpting a nail with things you have around the house. So as you can see, this isn't something that you re you can just really watch closely, but so this is what I'm just gonna show you here slowly. So you just kind of do that and keep moving it around. Don't file in one spot any too long because just like anything, it'll it'll get, you know, not even. And you can kind of see it's starting to get smoother around there. And even over here, you can see how it, it just butts up right next to your skin and has really taken care of that uh, crack there. Now, what you can see here is where this kind of isn't quite blended in as well on that edge. And it's hard to see, but you can kind of see that it's not blended in as well. And um, what I'd like to do is work on that a little and get that blended down. And what I'm going to do is uh, going to go ahead and file this down, buff it out a little more for you to see, but not waste your time showing it to you here. But a couple of key points I'm going to make and look at this before I go is right here this I'll I'll, I'll work on this a little because some of that glue extra glue I put on kind of spilled over under kind of to the edge and your finger kind of acted as a form a, a little bit and so um, this I'll file that down to like blend in with the nail a little better 
And then also I want to say also that at this time when you do let this glue dry, if you don't have time right then to buff it down, then this is a good time because it, it it's really strong at this point. You know, it's it's going to protect that crack that was in the nail there. So that would be the time. If you can stand it rough, you don't have to buff it down until you have a chance. So, you know, if you can stand it, you can go several days or just whatever. But if you want it done right away, then let it, like I said, let it sit for at least 30 minutes um, and definitely until the smell of that super glue is gone. So I'm going to buff this out a little bit better and then I will be back and show you the results of that. So now I have filed this down, buffed it down with the, the two different types of nail files with uh, a rough rough gr uh, grit, medium grit, and then, and then did some buffing on it. And as you can see over here, like I showed you earlier, that little ledge is gone now. I worked on getting that fixed and um, smoothed out. And you can see that it now follows the nail with a little bit of a grade to it, but it has a it has a coating um, over that area where the crack where the crack had been, and it is now repaired. What you'll notice here in this location that was a white spot in the nail, uh, not in the nail, but in the, the toilet paper and super glue mix. And I guess I didn't get enough glue saturating the toilet paper at the time so that um, I kind of when I was filing it down I kind of buffed it out and it came off and so it left a little bit of a divot there not very much of one but what you can do if you have something like that and you want to really finesse it a lot more is put a little bit more super glue on that spot and make sure it's saturated so you can't see that white in in that location and let it dry and then buff it down again and go through that same process. So this, I do have some spots in there that are a little bit white from the process of putting it on, but you just have to take your time in doing it and doing it under a camera is a little bit hard as well. So when you're on your own, you can see that it's easier to do. So anyway, um, now with this, yeah, once I got done filing, it looked really funny because I had a lot of dust on it, like glue, uh, nail dust or whatever from filing it. So I washed my hands and made sure that that dust was off of the the surface. So once you get it down and buffed to the right uh, consistency and quality that you like, then you're ready for the next step. And that next step is putting nail polish on like a base clear and then and then your nail polish so I am going to go get the nail polish and the clear coat and we'll go from there I'll be right back well I got our uh, clear coat which is I'm going to use this uh, CND vinyl Lux uh, weekly top coat but any clear nail polish will do this is just what I happen to have so I went ahead and did this one to show you what it's going to look like and it kind of fills in some of the areas between you know the glue and where you may not have gotten it quite as smooth as you could have, but um, we're only hu human, right? And, you know, unless somebody's really going to be looking at your nails that closely, then um, I'd say it's okay. So here we go. I'm trying to paint this and not talk at the same time. It's kind of hard for me to do, but anyway, uh, you'll just do this. Get your nail polish on the spot spot where you have fixed and all over the nail just like you would any other nail and once you get this done you will let it dry so this helps protect not only your nail from staining of nail polish but it also helps 
protect your patch that you did on your nail as well. So there we go. Put this in there. Screw that back on because I am notorious at spilling. And there we have it. Uh, you're covered, you're primed or prepped or whatever you want to call it, nail with nail polish on it. And you'll just let that dry. And um, depending upon whether you want to do one or two coats is up to you. And then once this dries, we'll go on to doing your nail color. So go ahead and let that dry and we'll be back when this dries. My nail is now dried. I got that dried out uh, from putting the nail polish on it or clear and here we have the nail polish that I currently have on. It's also the C&D Vinyl Lux and this is what we're going to use. This is what this color is right now that I have on. So we're going to go ahead and unscrew this lid and go ahead and paint our nail with the uh, color that we already have on our nail. So here we go. This is not real, real easy to do, but um, go ahead and just paint your top coat on. And get a little more. It's easier to do this when you have a tad bit more on your nail uh, brush when you're painting. Okay. But anyway, there you go. Oops. So just keep painting and get all your nails painted just like that. Again, we're going to screw this back on because I am, again, very notorious for getting that um, to fall over. And this nail polish is kind of gloopy sometimes, but you just um, paint your nails like that, get it painted, and I'll go ahead and paint the other one and show you that in just a minute. So let me get that painted and let this dry, and I will be back after I get it done. So I went ahead and painted the index finger, and you can see they are pretty good. And the sculpting job I did, I think, was pretty good. I could probably stand to do a little bit more finessing on this, but for for getting, you know, keeping the nail uh, intact with as long as they are, and being able to paint them and, you know, enjoy my nails a little bit longer for this length, I think I did a pretty good job. So that's it. Uh, if you feel that, you know, once you get your nail polish on, if there's some spots that you think could be a little bit more finessed, like I can see a few in mine up in, up in the top here and right on the ridge there. Um, if you see spots like that, you can always either take the nail polish off or buff it down with the nail polish on to see where your progress is in getting it smoothed out and then take your nail polish off and then, um, you know, go through the, the same process to get the clear coat on and then the base coat of nail polish or the nail polish top coat on that is what you can do so other than that I think I've done a pretty good job of getting my nails uh, back into long all long, being one length and um, you know I might have them this length a little bit longer and then I'll probably cut them down which um, you can also uh, maintain that same patch on there when you cut it you cut it down and then can file it down so uh, you just have to be careful with it when you work it again because they, they are brittle um, patches when they get cut or something like that. But they are pretty good for impact. You know, um, they work very well. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Have a good day.